hi friends welcome to ODA video tutorials this video I am going to explain you about ODA package tools called zip and unzip for example if you have any requirement to zip the files after processing if you want to zip the files and if you want to move to some archive location we can use this package name that a tool uh, same thing for if you have any requirement if you are receiving any zip files if you want to unzip that files and if you want to process those files but if you want to unzip using this unzip uh, tool in your ODI package same thing for zip if you want to zip and if you want to pro copy or uh, if you want to move to some other locations you can use this zip tool in ODI package let's start with the creating a sample package ODI okay if you go to files in your toolbox if you go to file there you can find zip and unzip so first start with the zip and uh, you can see the parameters this is a base directory or file like if you want to zip entire directory let's start with one example i'm giving one directory name in my local directory there is a files there's a directory name called the source files so i want to zip this files entire this directory not a files then zip name so where you want to create this zip file so i'm going to create a new folder I'm giving a file extension like this so I'm going to create a new zip for entire this directory okay and there is another option called uh, override file if you have already file is available if you want to override you can use this override and uh, a recursive there's a case instead so recursive means if any multiple directories inside that everything will be inject and case sensitive and file name encoding so this is the options you can uh, see that mainly your base directory if you are going for entire directory this and uh, zip file that uh, how we are going to create a file name these two are mandatory and if you are going for only for single file you can use the single file this parameter so currently i'm not going for single file i'm going for directory so that I'm leaving empty. You can save this package. Go to. So here, this is the source files. This file is available. I want to zip this entire uh, directory and uh, create that zip file into the zip files. This location. Okay. Currently, it's empty. Just run this. session has been started you can monitor an operator yeah this is the session succeeded so what we can do now here you can see the subject file is created and the direct uh, that directory is one file is available that file has been zipped now okay this if you have a multiple files everything will be zipped like I will copy another file okay if I rerun it again so the two files should be available in whatever newly created zip go to zip files extract this file see now two files are available means 
that entire directory this entire directory if you have multiple files or if you have a subfolders everything will be zipped this concept of folder wise like if you want to go for instead of folder what i am doing instead of directory i am going for only for single file so i am creating i change the zip name because you should not you should not confuse on this so what i am doing i am creating a single file i'm unzipping this single file this is the target location just run this it should create emp dot we go to zip see here one file is available so like this for zipping we can go for we can go for single file or directories source file and directory or entire directory and the recursive is true if you have a multiple directories inside this everything will be zipped so same thing just i am removing this I am going for unzip. Unzip, you need to provide the zip file where it is available. This EMP dot and the target location. I am going to create a new folder for that. You will get more clarity on that how it is doing unzip okay this is the target directory and if you want to mention overwrite files if it is same files are available it will overwrite just save this so now we can go to this directory you can verify this currently unzip there is no files if i run it should be extracted that file whatever we are doing that employee dot emp dot zip file i'm extracting into this location that's called unzip now here you can see this new file has been available in unzip that's called whatever zip file is there this is extracted into this location so like this we can go for using zip and unzip package tools zip and unzip package tools so most of the requirements uh, like if you want to archive the data if you have a huge files timestamp for example if you have a source system they are copying files timestamp based and the daily 100 200 files they are copying and if you have uh, 10 years or maybe two years data two years means every day they are copying 200 files and the two years files will be available in one of the folder when you're trying to process those files because the directories are occupying more historical files it will take more time to improve the performance and to copy the data from whatever source location what we will do all historical processed files all historical process files we will move the we will move from source location to any archive location and there if you want to save your space if you are using any cloud environment or if you are if we have a uh, huge files if you want to save those files you can go for zipping concept that's called ODI and zip and unzip means if you have any requirement if you want to reprocess those zip files so in the job itself you can call this unzip tool ODI and zip tool and that files will be extracted and you can process those files and the similar way if source system also if they are sending a zip files sometimes any any of your source system if they are sending a zip files and if you want to process those files directly you cannot process right what we can do in the mapping 
is same whatever you are mapping a source file to uh, whatever a target table or any other file your mapping will be same so before running your mapping that in your package what you will do you will do this file zip extraction and that file should be extracted from that zip file and the files will be available like you can do that uh, target location as i mentioned okay that unzip the target location you can mention we can mention that where you are picking this mapping file so when whenever uh, you are calling that a second step this particular mapping first it will do the unzip and the target location that unzip target location is your source of your mapping so this unzip target location is your source of your mapping table so first step whatever you have a files your source system they are copying that will be extracted and uh, will be available in your source location then it, your mapping can take that file and it will copy into your table or whatever you have implemented in this mapping so like this we can use ODI zip and unzip tools in package so mainly uh, files processing this is very useful uh, because earlier what we will do we will write some cell scripts uh, if it, uh, uh, if you are not using uh, this package we will write some cell script uh, to copy the files and uh, zipping and unzipping and those cell scripts we will uh, trigger in uh, ODAR will trigger in other uh, third party tools so instead of that directly you can use this uh, package tools so user is a user friendly and uh, is a continuous activity continuous activity means first if before starting your mapping if you want to unzip the files and the if you want to process those files you can use this unzip or maybe after processing if you want to zip those files and move to archive some location so like this uh, once you process this for mapping if it is done then you can run this activity zip means it's like moving the files to archive location there also in archive location if you are doing a zip so those files will be uh, less size if you if you do that zip and if you have a huge files and huge data so that everything you can zip for example if you are receiving 10 uh, maybe 100 200 files per day that entire 200 files you can zip as a day wise uh, file name for example today i will do 23rd or 24th november particular date and all today's files i will as a single zip later if you want to identify if you want to reprocess those files what you can do you can identify particular zip file for particular day then you can extract and you can reprocess those files so that time it is very easy you can identify if you process or you can compress a particular uh, day wise folds okay particular day wise folders you can reprocess so thank you for watching my videos please uh, subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel thank you very much